Hello everyone, this is a walkthrough tutorial on how to create an account for yourself on BNC Web. Now BNC Web is a corpus workbench founded system for accessing the British National Corpus, thus the name BNC Web. Um, BNC Web is uh, open source software, so anyone who has a copy of the BNC and wants to use BNC Web to access it can do so. However, um, at Lancaster University, which is where I work, um, we've got uh, a BNC Web server which we have set up in such a way that outsiders, people not at the, our university, can create accounts on this server and use our server to search the BNC. Uh, naturally, access to the corpus is somewhat limited because for legal reasons we can't give people outside our own institution full access to the corpus, but you can get quite a lot. And so, in this tutorial video, I'm going to walk you through the process of signing up to BNC Web. Uh, at, on the Lancaster University server. So you start with a browser window, such as the one we've got here, and type the address as follows bncweb.lanx.ac.uk and then bncweb sign up. Now, a couple of things to note here. Firstly, no www at the start of the address, just bncweb.lanx.ac dot uk and second note that this part here is case sensitive so it's bnc web all lowercase capital s and then sign up all one word so hit that and you'll get a page that looks like this lancaster bnc web server usernames now you can do various things here uh, if you are um, uh, an existing um, if you're an existing user then you can log in here and uh, fiddle with the details of your account but we're not interested in that we're interested in registering for an account so we want this link here and this form basically includes information so that we know a little bit about who you are and you can create uh, an account um, so here I'm going to fill in these details with uh, test values uh, or example values uh, so that you can see what I'm doing. So if your name is, I don't know, Fred Smith, you would put Fred Smith and then here you would put something like, I don't know, if, you, if, you, if you're a student at a university, put in your university. If you're investigating corpora, uh, as part of your job, then put in the name of your company. If you're just um, if you're just visiting um, uh, out of interest, out of personal interest, and it's not part of your job, and you're not a student, then you can just say institution none. Okay, but let's uh, put this in. I am I'm Mr. Example Account, uh, and I work for, of course, the Corpus Workbench. And the email is, I'm going to put in the email of uh, the Corpus Workbench YouTube account, so I'm not putting in any personal details here. Now you have to select a country. Um, the top four are, the, are where most BNC web users happen to come from. Uh, I'll say United Kingdom because it's where I come from, although it's not where Corpus Workbench comes from. Corpus Workbench is originally from Germany. So, I'm going to put in a username. Now, it's worth noting here that if you hover your mouse over these little question marks, you'll get some help. So, for example, on first name and last name, it tells you how long each of these things can be. So, this can be up to 25 letters, this can be up to 25 letters. Um, likewise, you can have um, up to 50 letters for your affiliation and it says there enter private if you have no university affiliation so private none something like that email now this is the keynote here enter your email address the email address must be valid for the registration process to be completed and this is important you can't just put in a fake email address here because before the account is activated this account will be emailed to check that you are a real person 
Username, uh, cannot start with a digit, so no numbers at the start. Must be alphanumeric, so no punctuation. And 3 to 15 characters, so Corpus Workbench fits the deal. And password, right, well, I shall make one up and not tell you where it is. Uh, and then you have to repeat the password that you've typed so that um, uh, so that the server uh, can uh, so, so that the server can check that you've not made any typos. Now this note here is very important. BNC web passwords are not secure. Note at the start of the address there is no HTTPS. Whenever there is no if you've got HTTPS at the start of a web address then there is some security for your username and password. When that's not there, as in this case, the password is not secure. So you must never reuse a password that you use on any other site or someone could stand between you and our server and they could detect your password and use it to try and hack into your bank account or whatever which of course would be very bad indeed. So this we are not playing around with this warning. Please, please take heed. OK. Register. Right. OK. Get rid of that. If you get warning messages like this, just ignore them. What's important is here. Your account has been added to the database. However, you must verify that the email address entered is actually your email address. To do this, we have sent uh, an email, oh dear, it's just redirected. We have sent an email to the account provided. Click the link to verify. Okay, so now in another browser I've got open the account, the Corpus Workbench email account. Uh, here it is. And you can see there that it's, you've got a message. It says it comes from no reply at lancaster.ac.uk. Uh, that's the fake address that these things uh, come out from and BNC web account you must verify your email so we go into that email and it says hello example account before you can use BNC web at Lancaster you must verify and then you get a link with which to verify um, it also gives you a manual verification code in case the link doesn't work but usually the link does work so all we do quite simply is click on the verification code and up pops this window and it says uh, as it says you should now be able to log in to BNC web okay so I'm gonna close that and I'm gonna take my email away uh, and we are now back at the front page of the username administration system now note that the, if you uh, type in BNC web sign up you will get back to here every time it adds that little bit on for you so that's the only address that you need to remember to get back to this page make changes to an existing account I'm not going to go into there uh, I'm just going to uh, point that out if you typed your name wrong or something then you can go into your account here using your username and password or um, uh, and you can make changes on the data on our database there if you've forgotten your password at any point, you can click here, enter your email address, press submit, and you will get an email reminding you of what your password is. This is another reason why the email, why the um, that is another reason why the passwords in our system are not secure, because uh, a secure system will never email you your password. Um, okay, so we've seen what's here when we register and we've uh, seen what this does what we want to do now is log into BNC web so that link redirects you to the BNC web system itself so I'll just delete the details of my account from there and put in the details of the account that we just created and here we are you can use safe password if you like you're on the front page of the BNC web system and that's all. That's how you create an account for BNC Web. Uh, thanks very much for listening. This is the end of the tutorial.